There's questions from Dave Vasse. Go ahead. Good morning, Dave. Morning, Dave. I'm just curious how the health of your players are. Um, things getting better with Lux and Pollock? Yeah. So Pollock, uh, obviously, is in there today. Um, Gavin, we're going to put on the IL. We're going to retro him from a few days ago. So um, just kind of where he's at, uh, just the wrist. And uh, it's just smart to kind of give him some extra, extra time. Obviously, you know, Gavin, you know, wants to be in there. But I think that just the, the smartest thing to do is to make sure he's 100%. So hopefully we don't have to deal with this issue going forward. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's that. We haven't seen uh, the roster move. Who, who have you called up in place of him? Uh, we, we've added uh, uh, Noisy, Sheldon Noisy. Okay. And he'll, he'll be in the lineup today at second base. Okay. Uh, Blake Snell's pitching for the Padres today. Uh, everybody remembers uh, Game Six of the World Series. Uh, do you, do you, re what do you remember in the moment about that whole sequence of events? Um, yeah, I think I just feel the same thing that everyone else felt. Um, they made a decision. Obviously, um, you know we weren't seeing the baseball well, um, and uh, it worked out for us. So. Um, yeah, heck of a pitcher. Dave, I'm curious from your standpoint, um, there's been so much, especially from their side about this series. With you guys winning the first two games, do you feel like you've put some doubt in, on, in their minds about just how far they are to, to maybe taking over this division? Um, I don't know, Dave. Um, you know, that's a question for them. I, I think that we just wanted to come in here and, and you know, play good baseball and take it one game at a time and, you know, see how it played out. So we've been fortunate enough to win the first two and, you know, our focus is now to win today. So um, I know we feel good about it. And um, yeah, I just can't really speak for how their mindset though. Can you, can you speak about how your players as a collective group have been able to sustain that type of mentality mm -hmm. where you guys are just focused on that day, no matter how boring it sounds? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I think, um, and people, you know, the most important people are the people in the clubhouse, and it is boring, but it's certainly hard to do. Um, but that's probably the thing I'm most uh, excited and, and proud, of, you know, of our guys as far as the focus on the day. And uh, yesterday, the other day, they're both quite emotional, obviously, um, but all we think about is today, and that's the truth. Um, so that's why I think that, you know, us being able to sustain <clears throat> sustain winning and playing a certain brand of baseball, you know, is possible for us. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Next question is from Kirsten Watson. Go ahead. Hey, Dave. Uh, you kind of hit on it there with just, like, focusing on today and playing um, really just specifically for this game in, this, in your Dodgers brand of baseball. But when you – what's kind of the game plan for you all and what's the focus for you today? Yeah, I mean, this guy, this starter's got really good stuff. Um, it's, a, it's a live fastball. It, it's two-plus breaking pitches. Um, hard to see it. So I think that for us to just try to grind out at bats and um, run deep counts, try to get the pitch count up, he had a short one his last outing. So they're going to push him. Um, so hopefully we can try to run the pitch count up, get in their bullpen, um, and, you know, our guys got to match him. So it's going to be a good – it's going to be a good baseball game. And I'm not sure if you hit on this. I had a little connection issue on my end, but for Bruce Dog Grotter, have you made any decisions um, for his plans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're gonna we uh, we're gonna option uh, Alex Bessia, and then we're gonna activate Bruce Star, and he'll be a, be available today. Great, thank you. You got it. Next question is from Juan Toribio. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, just a quick one for me. With Lux, is it a matter of resting? Did he go through some tests or anything like that? No, he, he's been he's been testing it, and uh, it's just not a hundred percent. And so, um, so we, uh, as uh, just the medical staff, myself, just feel that it's best to make sure Gavin's a hundred percent. And uh, once he does get back, we can run him out there every day. And we just can't say that right now. And where we're at on the calendar, it just makes no sense to. Uh, push it to for a potential setback. And in his absence, who do you see kind of filling in um, mostly there at second base? I know you have a couple of options there. Yeah, I, I think uh, like you see uh, 
noisy there today. You'll see uh, McKinstry there, and then you'll see CT there as well. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Next question is from Eric Steven. Go ahead. Dave, uh, Justin Turner uh, off to a hot start this year. I, I know previous Aprils, he hasn't really hit home runs. He's been productive, though. It, it, was this – you know, something that was just kind of inevitable or is he doing anything different this, this year than maybe in years past to get off to this hot start? You know, um, I, I don't know, Eric, if he's doing anything different. I, I do know that his body looks much different than it has in the last few years. Uh, um, the weight's down. He just looks really good. Um, uh, so, yeah, he's always been productive, but he hasn't slugged. And I just know Justin, and I don't think he puts too much uh, weight into – you know, the past and, you know, he's kind of in the moment type guy. And I guess it's a law of averages type thing that he was bound to slug at some point in April. You guys are facing um, two lefties, I think, in, in Seattle as well. Uh, how do you plan to sort of use that uh, DH spot up there? Yeah, um, I'm going to DH Justin tomorrow and um, contemplating giving uh, Muncie a day off and uh, get him back in there on Tuesday. But um, yeah, Justin will be the DH and we'll figure it out Tuesday. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Next question is from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Uh, Dave, with Bruce Star, are, are you gonna throw him kind of in the fire right away? How, how do you plan to use him? Um, at least yeah, in the yeah. He, he's, uh, he's a guy that I trust him. Um, he's pitched in uh, big spots already uh, in his short career. So whenever it makes sense to put him in there, I got no problem. And uh, you guys are dealing with some injuries. I mean, you guys are still best record in baseball. Do you, do you feel like your depth's been put to the test and obviously it's, it's, it's passing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, when you lose an MVP um, and, uh, you know, there's been some injuries, but I think that in, in your starting second baseman who, but yeah, I mean, I think that we have guys that step up and, and pick each other up. So that's certainly, uh, Jorge, the depth part of it. And, you know, that's part of the long season. You're going to have things like that, and guys have got to step up. So just not surprised, though, of the way the guys have responded. And with, with Trevor, um, obviously you learned about him in spring training, but his first three outings this season, have you learned anything about him, um, you know, how, how he sort of um, handles, you know, games and or sequences or anything like that? Have you learned anything about him these first three outings? Um, I, I just think he's just a really um, in tune with his, certainly his, obviously his pitch mechanics and how to attack hitters. He's very in tune with his, the characteristics of his pitches. Um, he's a student of the game. He, he watches hitters, understands swings, understands how to navigate a lineup, um, talks to, you know, our pitching coaches, pitchers, position players. He just loves to talk baseball. So that's something I really didn't know until you know when you're spending time around a guy. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Hey, yeah, Dave. Just cleaning up some of the details on Lux. I just watched him take ground balls, so I'm assuming that the issue is swinging a bat? That's right. That's right. The legs, uh, the throwing um, – not really a problem, the throwing with the wrist, um, but it's the swinging of the bat. And, you know, with that body part, it's just, it's so, you know, you just, one swing can set you back and it's just not worth it for Gavin, for us. In what kind of time frame? how serious is this? How long do you think he might be out? So it's a retro. And so I, I don't know if it's next Sunday or Monday, but the first day that he's eligible to come off, I expect to be in the lineup. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. We got time for one more. Go ahead, Jim. Yeah, Doc. Um, given the first two games of this series and the intensity and the atmosphere, has it kind of met your expectations for what these 19 are going to be like? Yeah, it has. It has. Um, and I think a lot of it, Jim, is we didn't have fans last year, and there's a lot of anticipation with obviously our ball club, their ball club. So, um, the fans here certainly dis didn't disappoint. The, uh, the, the intensity didn't disappoint. And um, it's been fun, a lot of fun to be a part of. Are we going to have a lot of four-hour games like the old uh, Yankees-Red Sox uh, rivalry? <laughs> you know what? I would love to say no, but uh, I, I can see that in, in the forecast. I can see that, yeah. Uh-oh. Thanks. It's, it's good baseball, though. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thanks.